Hey up YouTube, welcome to the latest video. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a body weight only leg workout. It's gonna be 23 minutes of your time and it's gonna be ruthless, I'm gonna tell you now. Let's get into it. Obviously, before we get going, hit that like button for these workouts, hit that like button for workout with me if you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, hit the like button anyway, because uh, it helps me. And obviously, hit that big red button down below, hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you to everyone who's subscribing. At the moment, we've had a good growth in um, subscribers, probably the most, uh, probably since records began. So thank you to all my new subscribers out there. I hope you're enjoying the content coming your way. As I said today, 23 minute leg workout. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be ruthless. Um, quads might fall off, but it's all name of the game, isn't it? It's all what we're here for, and we're here to sweat and destroy our quads. Right, we're gonna start off with some strength work, um, go through a few more technical lifts and um, technical exercises, um, and then we're gonna move into more of the intensity, some more aerobic um, sort of fitness work. So guys, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. We are going to be starting off with, as I said, strength blocks, which are going to be three rounds. We've got 30 seconds per exercise. Um, it's all going to be single leg stuff, so we will keep swapping over. So first two exercises we're going to do is a single leg split squat. So we're going to go left foot forward, right foot back. We're going to lunge and squat down from there. Then we're going to swap over to the side, and then we're going to come into like a hover lat lunge. So you're going to do a lateral lunge, come up to the top and hover at the top. As I said, 30 seconds on each one. Um, and then three total rounds, you've got six total minutes of working and then we're gonna have a bit of a breather and a rest. Get yourself ready, all you're gonna need is your mat and your body weight and a bit of fun. Are you ready? 30 seconds, we are going in three, two, one. So left foot forward, right foot back and we're just squatting down from here. So as I said, we go 30 seconds and then we swap over. The really important thing here is to stay really nice and tight through all your stomach muscles and all the core muscles and not to let yourself wobble around too much. If you feel like you are wobbling, maybe have a chair next to you just for your balance, yeah? We've got just over five seconds and then we're gonna swap legs up. Try and be really crank quick you tr through the transition. So right foot up, left leg back and just come straight into it. With this front quad, I really want you to think about constant Okay, contraction. So I never want you to lock the knee out at the front and you're just keeping everything really nice and tight through the legs. Okay, watch your balance. We've got 10 seconds and as I said, we come lateral lunge into a hover. So we keep constant tension in one leg. Four, three, two, one. So we lateral lunge through the right side as we come up, we drive. Lateral lunge come up and drive. If you need to stabilize yourself, stop. That's a bit of a regression, but otherwise stay tall in that position. You've got 15 seconds. Really push through this bent leg and keep this opposite leg straight, really nice and straight. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Same on the other side now. So straighten, left leg comes bent, we drive up, straighten out. Left leg straight, we drive it up. Remember that regression, so just meet at that back point. Otherwise, drive up. Down and drive it up, here we go. Stay with those tempos, try and find that nice consistency at the moment. So we're not trying to rush the reps here, and we're really working on the strength through the legs. Three, two, we come back to split squats. Left foot forward, right foot back, down, 30 seconds on each leg, yeah, exactly the same thing. We run through for three total rounds. So this is second round in, two of three, and then we change it up. Okay, halfway through, 15 seconds. As I said before, really never lock that knee out. Otherwise you lose tension in the quad and you've now got it all in the knee. Keep the leg bent at the top. Four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, left foot back. As I said, try and be really quick through the transitions, yeah? So we're not wasting too much time between your legs. Ooh, keep going, guys. Remember, as I said, not too fast. 
go nice and slow and just work through the reps and really think about what muscle we're trying to contract. We've got 10 seconds. And then we come back into those lateral lunges. Five, four, three, two, one. So we go right side first. Right leg comes out. We come up. We come out, yeah? Really think about that stabilization at the top. So here we pause. Then we come into the next rep, yeah? Really don't rush them. And keep this knee up as high as you can into chest at the top. You've got 10 seconds. Remember that regression down to the side, yeah? You don't have to come leg up. Three, two, one. We go now the opposite side, left foot. Drive it up, down, out we go. Remember, left side stays bent, opposite leg stays nice and straight. And we just keep working through these rep ranges, yeah? And go in at your own speed, so don't worry about going crazy. Just keep it slow, yeah? 10 seconds. And then we got one final round to work through. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, left foot, right foot back. Be quick through these transition, guys. As fast as you can. We're having a breather after this section is finished, yeah? So after the next two minutes, you're gonna have 60 seconds to catch your breath back, have a drink, yeah? And then we'll start controlling that heart rate back down before we come into it. 10 seconds. And then we swap it up. Five, four, three, two. Right foot up, left foot back. Here we go. Last one on these split squats. So just think about, yes, okay, the quads hurt, but it's the last time you're gonna have to do this. And it's the last time you're gonna have to fight through it. However, your quads are gonna hurt a lot more later on, trust. <laughs> 15 seconds, really big squeeze at the top. Here we go, 10. And then we come into those lateral hops, lateral hop, lateral lunge, hovers. Four, three, two, here we go, right side first. Right leg out, bend, drive it up. And don't fall over, <laughs> drive it. Out to the side, drive it up, here we go. Nice guys, just stay with it. Remember that tempo, remember that speed, and you're working through your own speed your own dynamic movement, and it's all about you, yeah? You go at your pace. Four, three, two, here we go. Same as on the other side on the left. To finish, strength block, round one, yeah? And then we're gonna switch the exercises up, and then we've got identical in terms of a block, in terms of fashion, on our next strength block. Okay, 10 seconds. Stay with it. Drive that knee up as high as you can. Keep that opposite nice and straight. Last rep, three, two, one. As I said, we've got 60 seconds now. Control this breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Yeah, just control this breathing all the way back down. Give yourself a nice drink. From here, as I said, sticking to the same thing. We've got 30, 30 on each exercise because we're gonna go single legs again. First of all, we're going single leg deadlift. So one leg comes back, so we're hinging through the hip, and we come up to the top. We'll obviously do 30, swap, 30 seconds on the side. Straight from there, we come sprinter lunge. So we drop a leg back, we touch the floor with the same side, and we drive up, okay? So it's all about plyometric, plyometric and explosive power through the front leg. Okay, you got 15 seconds. Have a quick drink. The old drink. Exactly the same thing, guys. So, a single leg deadlift to start. Okay, left foot forward, right foot back. Arms out in front, reach forward, come up to the top. If you can, try and keep this right leg off the floor the entire time. In terms of regression, you can drop the foot so you can stabilize at the top, or even drop the foot back, reach for the toe. But if you can, foot stays off the floor the entire time. What you're trying to think about, head, legs, everything moving on a hinge. Four, three, two, one. Right leg now this time, yeah? So if you look from my head all the way to my foot, it's one straight line. That's how you want to feel, and you're really thinking about hinging through the hips. It's a big 
Ooh. It's a big hip dominant movement, this. And it's all requiring, obviously, a lot of stabilizer muscles in that front leg that we're working on. Five, we come sprinter lunge. Three, two, one. Left foot forward, right hand down, right leg, drive it up. Back, drive it up. Back, drive. In terms of aggression for this one, you're just going to drive it up from here. Yeah? So if you've got maybe dodgy knees or you're not comfortable catching yourself on the front leg, just work through a position where you're not throwing the plyometric in. But otherwise, stay with me and work really nice and fast. Four, three, two, one. Right foot down, left hand, drive it. Really catch yourself back down in this bottom position. So I don't want any of you to lock the knee at the front. It's just gonna put a lot of unnecessary pressure through the knee. So touch, drive, catch, straight back in it. So see how I catch my body weight in this bent position through the front leg. We've got 10 seconds. We come back to single leg deadlift. Four, three, two, one. Left foot forward, right side, reach. Bring that foot back. Remember your regressions, team. Step it out, reach, or come forward and touch to stabilize at that midway point. Otherwise, foot off the floor the entire time. You've got 10 seconds. Should really feel your ankle switching on loads here. All of the recruitment in your muscle fibers are firing up. Three, two, let's swap sides. Same again. So your ankle is really gonna be working overtime to stabilize your whole body at the front. So it's really important to just go nice and slow. And we wanna feel that nice big stretch in that front leg through the hamstrings all the way to the glutes. Okay, 10 seconds. We come back to sprinter lunges. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot back, up we go, yes. Here we go. Oopa. <laughs> okay, same principle, 30 seconds on each side. Remember your aggressions. If you don't want to drive up, just drive it up instead of adding that plyometric in, yeah? So you're just working through whatever you can, yeah? That's your progressive overload that you can work towards. Three, two, right foot, left side. Here we go. Same again, team. Ooh. Round two of three, almost finished, yeah? Drive, catch, drive, catch. 15 seconds, and then we come back to our deadlifts, yeah? For the final round, this is it, keep pushing, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to your single legs, left foot, right leg comes back, body comes forward. Remember this straight line between head and leg at the back. So you're really thinking about closing off this hip joint on that front leg, yeah? And it's what we call hip flexion because we've closed off the hip joint, okay? Five, four, three, two. Right foot, here we go. By now you should feel a little bit like these are easier, yeah? And you're slowly able to now work through a point where your ankle isn't having to switch on as much because it's found the muscle fibers that it needs in order to stabilize. Yeah, I say that and I almost fell over. <laughs> Five seconds, then we come sprinter lunges for 60 to finish. Right foot back, drive up, catch and drive. Remember, it's all about catching yourself in this front leg so you don't put all of that unnecessary pressure, pressure, pressure through that left knee. Okay, 15 seconds. Keep it moving, let's go. 10. We switch the last one after this, guys. Then we're done. Four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, left hand, left leg up. Oh, these are getting heavy now. Yeah. That front leg should be tiring out now as you're having to use that plyometric strength 
to throw your body weight up. 15 seconds. 10. Oh, keep going. All the way to the time. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Oh, those printer lunges got a bit tasty then, didn't they? Okay. 60 second breather again. Give yourself a drink. That almost went down the wrong way. Obviously, for everyone asking, I know you're not asking, but I'm gonna pretend like you did ask. In the old shaker, I've got a vitamin tablet and a bit of creatine to save my life during this isolation. Okay, moving on to our ESD block one, which is our energy system development. So we're now gonna bring you, be bringing up the intensity and you might be like, mate, we've just done a lot of intensity. No, it's gonna get even more intense now, okay? So each exercise is gonna be 30 seconds. So it's intense exercise on each one. We go three squat variations, we go three lunge variations. We repeat for two total rounds, so it's another six minute working round, okay? I'm not gonna confuse you. I'm just gonna coach you through the first exercise and then keep building on the exercises instead of just throwing all six at you and you just go, well, yeah, you know what I mean? So squat walkout, first of all. So you're gonna stay in a low squat position, walk out, come back to squat, Walk out, this is the whole principle. It's just tension in the quads. Are we ready? 30 seconds. Get yourself ready, team. Make sure you've had a drink, a couple deep breaths. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. So staying low in that squat, walk it out to plank, stay low in the squat. So if any of you are familiar with a gorilla squat and a gorilla stance, which is a really low squat position here, because if you look at Gorilla, they've got amazing hip mobility to be able to just chill out here. So we want to think about that position at the back, which is great for the hips and great for your ankle mobility as well. We've got four, three. We come one, one quarter squat in one. So we come down, upper quarter, down, rise to the top. So we've now created, instead of just doing a one rep squat, we're now putting the legs under a lot more time and attention than we would usually because we're now adding a quarter in. So just that slight little variation to your rep range can make such a big difference in terms of the fatigue to the legs. In four seconds, we're gonna do an ISO. So we're gonna hold the bottom. Two, one, hold, 30 seconds. This is gonna get tasty, okay? Hold it there, be really nice and tight through your stomach muscles. So don't let yourself dip forward here. Stay as low as you can. Push these knees out towards the, ce the ceiling, towards the walls around you. So we're switching the glutes on and stay tight through the stomach. You've got 10 seconds and then we come forward lunges. Start moving that blood around. Four, three, two, one. Up to top, back of your mat. Forward lunge, down and keep swapping. Oh, that was a big sweat drop if you saw that. I hope you did. <laughs> keep swapping it up. And again, you're just now working through your own pace and almost treating this exercise as a bit of a breather, trying to catch your breath back, trying to let the blood settle in the legs. We've got 10 seconds and we come single leg pulses, 15 on each. Four, three, two, left foot forward, right foot back, we pulse, yeah? So really small, one inch, two inch movement through the legs and it's now constant quad tension. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Right foot up, left foot back, same again. Oh, this is burning, burning. Keep it going, let's go. Straight from here, we're gonna go plyometrics, so it's gonna suck. Four, three, two, here we go. So now, jumping lunges. So all the blood in the leg should be like, whoa, what are you doing? Please stop. And we're not gonna let it, okay? We've got 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh, and that's round one done, and you've got another round to go. Oh, keep going. Ten. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Low squat position. Back into that squat walkout. Plank position. Walk it out. Plank position. 
Oh, those legs. Keep going, guys. Whatever you can. Just keep giving it. And just keep working with me. Oh, yeah. And just keep pushing yourself all the way. It's just getting tasty. But let's just keep going for this final round. We've got five seconds. We come back to one more quarters. Three, two, one. One more quarter squat. Down, upper quarter. Down, right. Oh, those legs and those quads specifically should be screaming. Okay, if they're not, if these legs don't feel like they're going to fall off and you can barely stand up, you're not doing it right. <laughs> okay, five seconds and we're going to hold that isometric, which is going to be rubbish. Here we go. Hold it. Same kind of coaching points as I said before. Tight through the stomach, knees out towards, oh God, <laughs> knees out towards the wall. Hold it there. Fight through that pain. This is burning, but I'm burning with you. Okay, 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> Five, come forward lunges. Three, two, one. Oh, up to top, <laughs> forward lunge. Oh, Jesus. I can barely move my legs, so I hope you're feeling this as well. <laughs> Keep going, 20 seconds. <laughs> this is like one of the hardest leg workouts in my life. <laughs> Keep pushing. 10 seconds, and then we come to those single leg pulses again. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot forward, right foot back, 15 on each. Remember, stay low, pulse it, pulse it. Oh, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot up, left foot back. Same again. Ooh. Keep going, guys. 10 seconds. And then we come ply rows to finish. And that's it. Four, three, two, one. Oh, my God. Down. And then plyrometric. Stay with it. Just keep working. If it gets too difficult, just reverse the lunge it, okay? Try not to do too many though, and stay as best you can through these plyometrics. I've got no problem at all with you hitting the knee and using that, not as a cheating mechanism, but just helping you get up. Four, three, two, one. 60 second breather. Oh, my legs are gonna fall off. Guys, I'm sorry to say, but we've actually got another block to finish, okay? All you're going to be able to hear on this mic is like, eh, eh. <laughs> okay? So, we've got 90 seconds as just a horrible, horrible finisher, okay? You might think, well, that was pretty horrible. It's going to get worse, okay? What we're basically going to do, you've got 90 seconds to do as many air squats as you can. Just max air squats. So you're here and you just go 90 seconds as many as you can. The rule that we have though, every time you break from your air squat, so every time you're like, oh, that's too much, you've got to reverse lunge, yeah? And you go reverse lunges until you feel you can air squat again. So count your air squat reps and I want you to comment down below the total of air squat that you've got and it'll be cool to see how many the winner gets and how many that person gets in 90 seconds. Obviously, I'll count mine. So it's about trying to beat me again, yeah? Like we did on that burpees a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago. This is the last push now. You've done seriously well, because that was hard. We go in 10. 90 seconds, max squats. Four, three, two, one. So all the way up, all the way down. As I said, as soon as you stop, you come into reverse lunges. And it's all just about going as fast as you can, trying to get as many reps as you can, yeah? And just finding that consistency in your reps. As soon as you stop, you've got to reverse lunge until you start squatting again. Okay, I'm on 30, who's with me? Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 40. Here we go, I'm broken. Let's go. If anyone does 90 seconds, I'm broken. You're a freak, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to burn now. Okay, coming up to the 60 second marker. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to break 60. Reverse lunge. Let it settle, let's go. Oh. Uh. Oh God, keep going team, 15 seconds, eight, nine, 70, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> oh my God, that sucked. Right, so I finished on 79. As I said, comment down below how many squats you've got. Comment down below, obviously, if you beat 79, that's seriously well done, because my legs are burning. Guys, make sure you give yourself a good, good stretch after this. Please drop this video a like if you enjoyed this. That was an absolute burner. Share it with your friends so you're not the only person that's going through this pain. And obviously, stay safe. I'll see you very, very soon. Alex, out. Ugh.